Hi everybody, Matthew here with Quick Websites Plus Hosting. I'm doing a tutorial today on how to make a, a custom Divi button uh, with a text change on Hover. So let's get started. Um, oh, by the way, here's a sample of what it looks like. So this Start Today button changes text and color and some other things on Rollover or on Hover. Let's switch back to our editing. I've laid out a basic page here. It's got a title for the page and the text I'll be using as a button. So, and here's the kicker that I'm actually using a text module, not a button. So, follow along as I'm doing that. Let's uh, switch over to the front end. Alright, again you can see I've got a little title and the text that I'm going to make the button out of. So I'm going to open up the uh, settings for that. Oops, I hate when that happens. Um, Alright, so as you can see here, here's my text, um, my initial text. So it's start today. To change that, I'm going to click on the hover settings and then the hover tab. And I'm going to change that text to get a quote. All right, so you can see it's going to change from start today to get a quote. Cool. Now let's uh, do the rest of what it takes to make it look like a button. So to do that, I'm going to switch to the design tab and border. I want to put a border around the text so it looks like a button. And around the corners at 16 pixels. And I'm going to make that two pixels wide and I want that border to be white now as you can see because it's a text module it's going to stretch the whole way of the row the whole width of the row so what I'm going to do is back up to sizing and make its max width let's say 220 pixels all right you can see there's the size there go ahead and pick center in the module alignment so we get it back in the center so now there's my basic button um, centered with the border I'm going to change the uh, spacing just to uh, give it a little breathing room let's do some padding inside the button as well let's try 10 that may be too much let's back that off a little um, and I don't have to do anything left and right because I've set a max width on there. So that I think is good for our starting point. I'm actually going to put a um, background in it and that way we can switch the background on hovers too. So let's start out with an initial background of maybe like 10% white just enough to get it to change color um, so you can see that it's a little dark or a little lighter over the button than it is on the background and then I'm going to switch to the hover part again so on hover I want that background to be super dark let's um, just go with that for now Alright, so if I, oh, one last thing, let's go ahead and do the drop shadow too while we're in here. Then I'll show you what it looks like. So, uh, box shadow, um, I tend to use the uh, centered shadow myself. Um, oops, got the super zoom again. Alright, so it's kind of hard to see on this um, dark background, so I'm going to bump the color up here that's good enough so you should be able to see that shadow on there now and what I'm actually going to do is on um, well let's see how we're looking here so save Exit Visual Builder. 
So almost should be almost there. There we go. So changing the text from start to date to get a quote. Changing the background color as well. Now let's see if we can change the um, drop shadow or at least the border. Let's go back to the visual builder. Here's how we do the shadow. So on, again, I'm clicking the hover effects. On hover, I'm gonna change that shadow to white. Now you can see that it's totally different. Okay, and then the last thing I wanna do is the border. So again, you can see there's a hover effect for that as well. I'm gonna change that to round. Um, I mean, uh, hover, click on the hover tab. I'm gonna do the unlock here because I want to do this top corner at zero and then I'm going to make the rest of these like 24 just exaggerate a little bit all right that should do the trick okay close that save again and exit and here we go so there we go so you can see the border changing, you can see the background and the shadow changing, as well as the text. So that's it. Um, I'm going to post a, an actual blog post about that. I'll add a uh, JSON file into there for you to download if you want to start with a pre-made one. Um, or you can just follow along and start from scratch. Thanks. Bye.